That is Alfreton Town. Made it round two on the last two occasions. 76. They play number 76 and that is Worthing in the first round for the first time since 99. What a moment for them. For them. For them. Hello guys, hope you're doing well as always and welcome back to another video. We've got more FA Cup action with Alfreton versus Worthing. Both sides very evenly matched with Worthing, the side that we've seen in the last few games, finding themselves in 8th place in the Vanarama National League South, compared to Alfreton who find themselves in 5th place in the North Division. It's set to be a fantastic fixture ladies and gentlemen and I'm excited for it. In this next episode of the Road to Wembley series, go and check out the other vlogs if you haven't already and without further ado, Let's get straight up there. Bit wet, isn't it? It's a bit wet. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in Alfreton for the first round proper. We've done all of the preliminary rounds and we are here. This is where the nitty gritty starts, but we're still with a couple of non-league teams, which is very exciting. Yes, Should we go straight in with your facts? No, we're not going to go straight in with your facts. I've got a fact. Uh, and the fact is, I'm a little bit of a celebrity in these parts, some would say. Uh, I used to manage Alfreton on Football Manager. Did pretty well with them. So yeah. feels like I'm coming home. But yeah, we'll get into the real facts now. Um, hit me with it. So my fact, for this round, first round proper. Not quite as exciting as uh, some of the most recent ones. It's a way to sell it. Exactly. But this one is quite interesting, never, never the best. So Alfreton have a fairly famous previous manager, someone who's well into their managerial career now, but actually started at Alfreton, and that's Chris Wilder. That, to be fair, this is the first one where I actually know who you're talking about, so I am all over this. Really? So, uh, yeah, he started a managerial career about 20 years ago with Alfreton. And in the two seasons that he was manager for them, he actually won five trophies. Ooh, like it. So there you are. Well, that makes two legendary managers who began their career at Alfreton. Um, me being the other one. Anyway, Alfreton have won three out of their last four games compared to Worthing's two in their last four. And with Alfreton's higher league standing in their division, maybe they're the favourites for this, but I think it's going to be a very closely fought fixture. Let's just get straight into the stadium, see what happens. So it is that time, ladies and gentlemen, it's score prediction time. I'm going to come to you first with score prediction. Well, it's uh, going to be very tough for both teams, equally matched, I think. But I'm actually going, controversially, for a 2-2 draw. Ooh, I think, think it's going to be our first draw of the season. Yeah. You know, I don't mind that because I agree with you. I think it's going to be close. But, I mean, we're with Worthing fans today. Uh, we've had a chat with a few of them and they're really loving the vlog. So that's great to hear. Uh, let's make about five of them. I'm going to go for a 2-1 narrow Worthing win. Fingers crossed. Come on, the boys. So we've got Ben here for a score prediction as well. I think, I think it's going to be... 2-1 Worthing, Ollie Starkey double, and I want Chef Wednesday away. Oh, okay, we've even got oh, a draw in there as well. I love a nice Chef Wednesday. Brown, nice well. Well. Good noise from the Worthing support so far. The Alfreton Stadium is filling up as we approach kickoff. Right, we're pretty much shut. What are your thoughts and feelings for getting confident? I will say that we are the most passionate fan base in the league. Shirt which is so a very, far. very bold shout, but Sussex is the best county in England. Sunny Worthing. Well, good luck anyway. I hope you see you in the next round. What I will say is, watch this second half. And the teams are out. It's Worthing versus Alfreton. Alfreton in blue. And just as expected, the Worthing fans have turned out in full force, making all the noise. It's going to be one of the closest contests that we've seen so far in terms of where these teams are in the football pyramid. We're set for a brilliant game, ladies and gents. We're underway, ladies and gentlemen, for the first round dropper of the FA Cup. Ooh. Tackle. It had to be right, and it certainly was. Oh, oh just hooked away. Confusion at the back, and he's missed the open goal. 
full. Appeals for a handball, but the refs give it a corner. Those Alfreton players cannot believe it. And they're in again. Brilliant save, but he's offside. Worthing hang on again. The handball shouts. I had a look at the replay, and just annoyingly, that pole is just in the way. I think there's every chance that he could have kicked it against his hand, but it didn't seem like it made an obvious ricochet that deflected the ball wide. I think it was just a poor strike from the attacker, regardless. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. That's brilliant feet. And he keeps going. That's a brilliant run. Oh, fantastic save. It was a brilliant run. Took it from inside his own half all the way up. That's a fantastic save from the goalkeeper. Keeping it level just before the break. That's half time, ladies and gentlemen. Nil nil, but entertainment nevertheless. We're here with Jack. What did you make of the first half? Both teams are playing well. We've had chances, but um, I reckon that if we score one, I think that might be beneficial because uh, they will have to attack more than us. It's been a good half, so. Hopefully in the second half we can score some goals at our end. I hope so. I think that the first goal is definitely crucial. Do you want to give yourself a little shout out as well? A little free promo. Every game you always listen to Rebel Yell Live and then Rebel Yell Podcast where my dad's on it, Yako, so he's on it. And then um, my channel is J4M 104. It's just about random things. If you watch them, uh, thank you so much. Wicked stuff. Our legend, mate. Well, hopefully we'll see you guys in the next round. Yeah. Thanks very much. Definitely go and check out the Rebel Yell as well because uh, that makes that very happy yeah. so that is half time ladies and gentlemen what are your thoughts on the first half i think uh fair to say the conditions are playing a big part but shout out to alfreton by the way because considering the conditions i don't know pitch is in fantastic condition i think um they're both evenly matched and i think uh that's reflected in the pay and play i don't think either side really could say that they were really on top arguably alfreton had most of the possession but I think uh, I think Worthing have been really well actually I think they, they've had uh, some half decent chances and I actually think they're going to come on strong in, in the second half and it's quite exciting because they're obviously coming our way so I'm, I'm confident that uh, we'll get some sort of result at the end of this even if it's a draw well that is uh, the most Michael Owen end to anything ever I think we'll get some kind of result whether it's a win or a draw when they don't score they hardly have a win. Yeah, 100% though. I think it's been a very, very even game. And uh, I think the next goal is absolutely crucial in determining the result for this game, if we even see a goal. The groundsman deserves a raise, but also these Worthing fans have been fantastic. They've been singing throughout. Sam at the beginning of the vlog was not lying when he said they'd be singing throughout. They've been absolutely fantastic. So we hope for more of that in the second half hopefully some goals and hopefully a decent decent result one of the main talking points was a potential handball what were your thoughts on that i think it was a handball but i think it was ball to hand i don't think there's uh, anything the wording player could do about it because he was falling down so even if it was in the premiership and and there's some var i don't think a uh, handball would be given but i do think it hit his hand okay see so like i said when it happened that pole was so annoyingly placed you can't quite see it for me even if it did hit his hand i don't think that there's enough in it but regardless it's nil nil Hope some goals in the second half. We'll see what happens. We're back underway, ladies and gents. Oh. Oh. Good chance. And it's out for a corner. And those Alfreton fans are loving it. Great feet. And it's out for a corner. He took a few too many touches. But there are a lot of Alfreton bodies in the way. It's been a bright start from both sides, just lacking that clinical finish in front of goal. But the end statement value is certainly there. We just need a goal to find a winner on the day or it's looking like it's going to be a replay. Another free kick in a good position for Worthing. And this is well within striking range. Could this be the first goal of the game? What do you reckon? Goal or no goal? No goal. Oh, I don't like to hear it. I'm going to go goal. I'm always the optimist. Top bins. Good ball in. Straight into the arms of the goalkeeper. I told you. Oh, that's a fantastic goal. Alfreton take the lead. Brilliant goal. Look at all the Alfreton fans. 
is that goal going to be decisive or can Worthing find a way back into the game? Fantastic strike. There is no question about the quality of the strike. I mean, you just said yourself that you felt like it was coming. I just, just had this feeling. I don't know what it was, just had this feeling that something was coming and what a goal. There's no way the goalkeeper could save that fantastic goal. It's a brilliant goal and Worthing, for the first time since we've seen them, concede the first goal. They're not out of this though, that's the thing to remember. They have still played fantastically, they've created chances, it just takes one moment in football. Let's see what happens. That goal hasn't disturbed the Worthing support, it's been fantastic throughout. That's the keepers all day, every day. Yeah, up to number nine goes off. He's had a very good game. He's held the ball up well. He's done his defensive duties. He's been a very important player for Alfreton. So that could change the game with a long ball approach for the worst. If I'm a Worthing fan, and today I am, that's good news. Oh, that's a great challenge. And that was late, and that would probably be a booking. There it is, a yellow card. Desperate times for Worthing. Good ball. Oh, it's a brilliant block as well. If that had gone in, that would have been game over. And that's it, that's game over. Alfreton double their lead late on. That's Worthing out of the FA Cup. It's been a great journey for them, but Alfreton double their lead and with so little time left. That's it. Alfred's is scoring from a corner. That is game over, unfortunately. Worthing haven't played bad, but they just haven't created the chances. Alfreton have taken theirs in the second half, and credit to them, they're 2-0 up now, but it's a real shame for these Worthing fans who've been lively throughout the whole game. And they're still singing credit to them. Oh! a golden opportunity as five minutes have been declared as added time. Worthing need a goal soon if they're going to pull a miraculous comeback. And that's full time and Alfreton are through. Credit to them. I don't think the Worthing were the obvious losers, but Alfreton took their chances when they came. Brilliant first goal. Potentially a bit of fortune with the second goal coming from a set piece, but at the same time, he was there to take it. And it is the end of Worthing's journey. Worthing have done their fans proud. Credit to those Worthing fans again who've been singing throughout the whole game. But it is the end of their FA Cup journey now. But it's Alfreton's day and congratulations to them as they see themselves into the second round of the FA Cup. And though it was hard to hear their fans throughout, it's brilliant for them that they get to see their team in the next round of this competition. So, ladies and gents, that is the end of the FA Cup round one. Worthing are out, Alfreton are through. What are your thoughts immediately? My first thoughts are it's uh, really sad to say goodbye to Worthing. Uh, a bit like when we said goodbye to Redhill, we're just... Uh, we got a bit of a relationship with Worthing. In fact, it's fantastic today because they were coming saying saying hello to us uh, before the match and during the match. But um, I, I don't think it was an unfair result. I think in the end, Alfreton deserved it. Fantastic first goal. And I think Worthing just lost it a little bit after that. One thing we realised after that was there was no real proper attacking threat and I think that's that's uh, why Alfreton won in the end because uh, really Worthing just not clinical enough in front of goal so well done Alfreton goodbye Worthing and thanks for the memories honestly I don't think I could have put it better myself I think you absolutely smashed it I think that obviously the first half was very very even and even the second half started off with both sides having chances and then it was just all gun ho from Worthing they threw players forward but they didn't create anything really substantial to get a quality chance and then obviously the second goal went in and it was game over so it was so lovely to meet all of the Worthing fans today and say hi it means the world to me and it's nice to know that you guys have enjoyed the videos hopefully although through the pain you'll enjoy this one maybe you'll stick around and continue watching this journey but we've had a great time watching you guys and as you said now we're on to Alfreton so is there anybody that you quite like to see them drawn against you know what this is the FA Cup and I really don't mind I love going on our travels I love going to places that we haven't been before so that'd be fantastic whether it's north whether it's south whether it's south East, northeast, whatever, it doesn't matter. I have no major preference. Or even one of our old friends, one of the clubs that we've seen before. So don't care. Just bring it on. Well, we'll see where we end up. Obviously, following Alfreton now. So subscribe if you're an Alfreton fan and stick along for the journey. Thank you so much for watching, as always, guys. And just again, thank you so much to the guys that came up and spoke to us today. It's made our day, to be honest. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care as always. Peace and love.